Today is indeed an inspiring day in tourism as we continue our rebuilding efforts, plagued by a global pandemic, compounded by ongoing external threats, including inflation, ongoing war, as well as regional and international airlift challenges. Prior to the pandemic, the Caribbean was our second largest source market. This market is driven by business travel, visiting friends and relatives, and our Caribbean events such as CPL, Carnival, and music festivals. Regional travel has been impacted significantly as a result of inadequate airlift within the region due to the limitations of the existing regional carriers. As many of you may be aware, present travel within the areas characterized by expensive trips to the United States with an overnight stay or multiple stops within the region, thus resulting in extended travel times. This has undoubtedly been a trying time for our people of the region. However, despite the adversities faced, your government has once again delivered. To remediate the interregional situation, the St. Kitts Tourism Authority has negotiated with Inter-Caribbean Airways to initiate service from Barbados and Puerto Rico into St. Kitts, affording travelers same-day travel options with one-stop service to the wider Caribbean. Service out of the Gransley Adams International Airport, Barbados, is scheduled to commence on Sunday 12th, March 2023, with the service to Puerto Rico being announced shortly thereafter. An Embraer 120 aircraft with a seating capacity of 30 will service St. Kitts from Barbados three times weekly on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday with one-stop connectivity via Barbados to the islands of Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Dominica, and Guyana. To book flights with Inter-Caribbean Airways, visit www.intercaribbean.com or contact your local travel advisor. This development is undoubtedly significant for St. Kitts and Nevis and the entire region. The St. Kitts Nevis Labour-led administration will continue to work with our regional and international partners to ensure that we deliver for you, the good people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Economic viability remains a crucial area of focus as we work towards creating a self-sufficient state. Permit me to close by taking the time to thank the hardworking team of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority, our sister agency in the industry, the St. Christopher Air and Supports Authority, and our regional partner, Inter-Caribbean Airways. I pledge my continued support to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, and even more specifically, our tourism stakeholders who depend on the industry for their livelihoods. Indeed, the prospects as it relates to the tourism sector here in St. Kitts and Nevis are promising. And I'm optimistic that together, we can take the industry to even greater levels. Thank you.